dancers will perform Die Große Füge of Beethoven, choreographed by Anna Therese de Kessmacher, and I am Clinton Stringer, this is Mark Lorimer, and we dance the piece many times in the company, and we are responsible for staging it for different companies all over Europe. And now we come to the Volksoper in Vienna to do it here. It's fugal writing, it's very complex fugal writing, and I think it's the first time in Anne Therese's choreographic writing that she chose to really uh, work voice by voice. We call them voices, the first violin, second violin, alto and cello. It's not a single dancer representing each instrument, but there are multiples, and there's even a voice who augments the sound, which is the more important at that time, which is the floating voice. One, two. The first two weeks, at least, of the process of restaging is a very nerdy analysis of count so that people can understand exactly how to count a piece and when to do which movement on which piece. Once that is in place, because that is the thing that will help the audience watch the music, then we would like to take it a step further, actually. What is beautiful about this piece is that it's so physically exhausting to do that you watch dancers struggle with the structure and having to push to the end so they almost die on stage. There's even moments called the dying, you know, in the piece. So there's, it built into the structure is a kind of exhaustion that uh, the dancers go through to be able to get to the end. That in the same way as a quartet would play together, if you're not really tuned up with each other, if you are super tuned up with each other, you can get through that exhaustion, but if you go alone, you'll just, you just get tired and fall over. So we try to teach the material at the very beginning as cleanly as we can, because it's going to get roughed up. And I think the, the last thing to say, I think a restaging would fail if we didn't manage to get that wildness that needs to exist. So that we're not just trying to portray uh -huh. structure, we're trying to have this extra layer which could bring some kind of emotional reaction from the public. Mm -hmm. 